Okay, check this out. Here's some other ways you can make interesting beats as well. And this is all being done, what I'm going to show you here, all these are one bar patterns, but using stacked drummers. But you can use fills to make beats. Okay, like here, I've got layer doing shaker and kick, just keeping time. But I've set up certain complexity and phrase variation to get that shaker pattern and the kick, right? And then here we've got Julian doing shaker and outs with some 16 swing on with this very low level of complexity just to add in something not too busy and that adds in with the layers thing so this is the, the the main sort of solid beat keeping time now on top of that I'm layering Magnus now Magnus no drums are active but the fills are up so this pattern here for Magnus one bar long is just a fill. I remember what you not only change the fills by tweaking the fill control here, but the uh, complexity and the loudness affects the fill as well. So I just tweaked around with a fill at a certain amount of complexity and loudness until I got this particular fill. Right, that's just a fill. So you can use fills as a layer for part of a pattern, and then the three together. Yeah, come on. Okay, um, I've got another one here. B2. All right, now this one, same thing. That's layer. Doing shakers and kicks, but with eighth swing on down here. Look, eighth swing. Then here, I've got Julian doing just the shakers and rats with some fill, which is adding in some extra drums. Without the fill, this would just be shaker and rats. But there's three loud hits in there. There, there, and there. Is it three? But he's got eighth swing on as well. And then here I've got Magnus just again doing a fill, but with eighth swing this time. And this gives me this this feel, this groove, this eighth swing groove. But again, Magnus is just, his pattern is entirely created with a fill. All right, there's another one. That's just got a, a weird swing to it, that one. Beat three. Uh, this one is the same. Lair doing shaker and kick. Julian doing the shaker and outs with the swing at the very low complexity. And here's Magnus again. But again, this is just Magnus doing a fill. That's all he's doing. But there's a kick in there as well at a very low level of complexity playing the 8th pattern. So Magnus is playing the 8th kick pattern at this low low level of complexity. But fill has been added, a little bit of fill, which adds in some extra drums at the end of the pattern. And the three make this. Yeah, so you can make beats by layering drummers, and one of the layers, or more layers, can the pattern can be created entirely by a fill. Now this works if you're just doing one bar patterns like this, because the fill occupies the whole one bar. The fills in themselves can be patterns, but you've got to stack it with other drummers, so the fill becomes one of the layers, one particular layer, on top of a more steady beat. Yeah, there's another technique you can do.